What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So about after three days that Sony announced that Helldivers 2 on PC would require all Steam players to sign in uh, with a PlayStation Network account and link their accounts, they have reversed that decision. After a lot of backlash, over a hundred K down votes and negative votes on Helldivers 2 after the PC community started even review bombing other games from PlayStation that had nothing to do with Helldivers 2 after all these events and the outrage, they have decided to reverse it. Early this morning, um, they put out a tweet uh, from the official PlayStation, PlayStation account. They said, Helldivers fans, we've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been valuable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. So, first, um, what stands out to me is their second paragraph saying we're still learning what's best for PC players. And if you remember in my last video and on Weapon Wheel, that's the very first thing I said is you have to know your audience, right? And based on what they've said, because that seems just very like specific um, that they're admitting that with this group and uh, this player base, they either... They're, they're, they're saying they didn't know in a way, right? I don't know if, that, if I actually believe that, but they, they don't have the full uh, famil familiarity uh, with the PC fan base um, like another publisher would because this is, I guess, this is somewhat of a new venture for them, right? But I, but I don't know. I just feel like there should have been somebody on that board or somebody advising PlayStation that... Listen, the PC fan base is not the same as the console fan base. So I think it's great that they addressed that and said, hey, we're learning. But also, you sh I also think you should have known. Somebody should have advised you, hey, they are not like them. This is different. Okay, and that's one of the things that I said in my last video when they first made this announcement. The PC audience is different. I, I, I have always said that, right? Certain things you can do with another audience, you can't do with them. So that's what stood out to me. Now, to me, I still, my, my, stance, my stance is still the same on this, where, where, which was PlayStation should know better, but PC dudes are making a bigger deal out of this than it is. This, is, this was drastically overblown because when we actually talk about what it is, we're talking about simply making an account and linking it. I'm not talking about dudes in Kyrgyzstan, you know, when, when people bring up the, uh, you know, the, the argument of like, oh, what about the people who, who can't make a PSN account because it's not available? I'm not talking about them. They are the minority in this situation, right? Well, I, I can't say they're the minority. It's, they seem to be the minority. But the people who are complaining do not live in those territories where PSN is not available. So let's remove that argument. I'm simply talking about the PC people who have the capability to sign up and to link an account. When you think about it, I get they have morals and principles and virtues of whatever they stand for, and it's arbitrary, and it's, it's very strange to me. I don't understand the type of shit that they decide to fight for. It's very odd to me, and, but I get that. But in the grand scheme of things, even regardless of what side you're on, you have to believe you have to admit this is very small. This is a very small thing to fight for, right? And I just think the, the effort that was put forward to fight this, this, this was like, this was literally like bringing a, a sledgehammer to, to kill an ant, right? It, it was just like, that's, that's the that's the issue that had y'all all up in arms. To me, when I think about this, this is like bringing all the armies from Lord of the Rings to like 
bringing them all together on the battlefield to fight for something like swiping your ID at work. That's, that's, that's what I think about. Like, cause it's also very strange to me because I don't feel like nothing, nothing grandiose was won in this, it was won in this situation. Like the, the reward that PC gamers get in my mind, I'm like, this is so small and insignificant to them in their head. This is a huge victory. To me, I'm looking at it and like the reward to me is just such is just nothing. Get what I'm saying? Like, I but I guess one man's you know trash is another man's treasure. I'm looking at their reward from all this all this fighting and out all this outrage and all this effort. I'm like, that's it. That's all y'all get for for this much work and this much effort. To me, that's just like, it's, it's, it's bullshit. Like, if I'm like, if, if I fight for something, it's the, the reward and what I'm, what I'm fighting for just has to be so much more meaningful and significant. But I guess that's, um, I guess it's relative. Because it, it, I think about it is like, if I go to my workplace and me and my, and my job didn't require me to use an ID to get in, and then suddenly, like me and all my coworkers, just you know, get all up in arms and deciding we're gonna like, uh, you know, uh, protest and um and and boycott and do a walkout. And then my company finally gives in and say, hey, you don't have to use your ID at work anymore. I'm like, was this reward really worth everything we did? To me, because to me, it's not. I'm I'm glad. Listen, PC gamers, they got what they want. Cool. I'm just telling you my perspective that this is something like, like they feel like they won something, but I feel like, man, the reward, the, the effort was not worth the reward. Because for me, you, you know what the thing is? I think the thing is for me is like the things I fight for or I would fight for in gaming are things that are actually that are inside the confines of the game, the integrity of the game, like things that I've fought for and spoken up for are things that directly affect the game, not the things on the outside of the game. Like, for example, in the past, one of the things that I've like gone on forums for or, uh, or, you know, maybe, uh, just voice my opinion on Twitter or maybe, a negatively reviewed something is if they've if a developer makes a patch to a game and I don't like how the patch has affected the game that's something that I would speak up for because it directly affects the game itself account logins doesn't directly affect the integrity and change hell divers too and how it plays so for me it's hard to care if you get what I'm saying for me from my perspective my purview, it's hard to care about issues that are outside of the game. I care about the game itself because, as I said, there's very few things that could stop me from playing a game that are not directly happening inside of the game itself. So if there's some politics or some changes outside of the game and all that shit, it's not going to stop me from playing. It ha you have to do something drastically where you just change how the game plays or how the game functions inside to turn me away from playing it. So if you patch a gun, patch an ability, where to me, like it's, it, it ruins the game, it ruins the balancing of the game, oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak up and lose my mind because that's what I care about. But this? Nah. So in, in the past, that's what I've spoken up about. Like, patches and shit like that and that and, and and i understand people have different views but in my view that's the stuff that matters more than the shit that gamers have been complaining about right gamers have been complaining about oh uh dei and and censorship and uh you know account logins and all all the things and in microtransactions and all these things i personally don't care about People think I'm siding with the corporation. No, I keep telling, I just don't care. When it comes, when it, when it, when it starts affecting the actual game directly, that's the shit I care about. I don't care about the things outside of it, especially if it just doesn't affect me. You know what I'm saying? So 
I, I to me that that's why like the gaming discourse lately has been bullshit. Like yo, I want to see y'all lose y'all mind over an actual change in a game, in the way a game plays. Like there was there was actually um like there was a, a change that uh the developers made to hell divers to some of the weapons there were like two patches that the player base didn't like and and they voiced their opinions on that i support that shit even if even if like i'm not even if i i don't think the the patch was bad i support that i support voicing your opinion on the changes to the game i fully support that that's the type of shit i care about but outside of the confines of the game, outside the parameters of the game, I don't give a fuck, bro. I honestly couldn't care less. So that's why, to me, like all this celebrating, like this, this huge victory, to me, is so insignificant in my eyes. It's so insignificant. And like, I, but listen, if y'all are happy, cool. Because my, my stance was PlayStation should have known better. But PC dudes are complaining, particular whining dudes. They, they are. Like, they complain about every little change. They can't adjust the change. So, but listen, a middle ground was met. People are happy. Cool. It is what it is. But uh, those are just my thoughts. Those are just my thoughts. Um, let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll catch you all on the next video. I'm out. Peace.